Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Hohen Solar. And here in Europe Nurse Alice 4, Veritas at Fort Studio Mod, we just finished our sixth colonial province, which. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. Which allows us to get a colonial nation. And uh, we're going to call it Ulmerica. Because, well, obviously, Ulmerica. Excellent. What other news? Well, Frizia is making a mad rush for Cuba, but we're going to cock block him by grabbing the last Cuban province. Nice four base stacks. I just want it so I have a border on Frizia, because I have no border on him up here. Yeah, hold on. Gotta sneeze. Wow, loud sneeze is loud. So what's been going on? Well, we fast forwarded, I don't know, five or six years since the last episode. France collapsed. When France collapsed, Flanders was released. Artois was given to Haino. Uh, no Normandy was released. And Nice flipped to Scotland. Or Scotland. Savoy. Holy shit. He also lost our dynasty when he collapsed. He turned the Marguerite dynasty. But it says when he dies, he's going to get our dynasty anyway. Assuming he has no babies. Why would anyone ever have a baby? Anyway, uh, Milan's been a good ally to us. We're keeping him friendly. Castile, we need to work on him a little bit. Let me come back from... Uh, yeah, come back from Munster. We'll go to Castile, get relations up there. We are um, moving troops to the New World so we can attack the natives over there. Now, the trick that used to work was you used to be able to attack a whole bunch of natives like... I don't know, Ho-Chunk, Muskegee, Cherokee, whatever. And then you annex them all right before your colonial nation forms. So before your colonial nation forms, you hit the annex button on all these guys. They finish annexing. Then the colonial nation forms, and they instantly get cores on all of these uh, natives. That doesn't happen anymore. I don't know when that changed, but it doesn't happen anymore. So there's no real need to time things just perfectly to because they don't get automatic cores. But they will buy whatever you sell them. But you have to core it first. Ah, uh, we lost all of our good generals. So our best guy is now 5-3. Unfortunate, but what are you going to do? We decided not to sell Halland to Holstein. Because he was just refusing to uh, core everything. We had to tag switch to make him core Bohuslan. Even though he had a claim here, he refused to core it, just like he refused to core Vastergotland. And same thing with Burgundy on Bastogne. He refused to core it, even though he had a claim on it. So we had to tag switch to him and force him to core it. I don't know why the AI is having trouble, but whatever. Now what I expect to happen is my colony here will start beating up on Portugal's colony when Portugal gets his, when he's on the one, two, three, four, five. He's on his fifth province right now. He'll go to six eventually. As soon as he gets six colonies, they should start beating each other up. And then we will go to war with Portugal uh, when the colonies go to war. Something like that. But before that happens, we're going to uh, beat up all these natives to make our colonial nation a lot stronger. There are no good missions or anything. Presence in Cannes, uh, Fort in Frankfurt. Protect our brethren in Lotharingen. Nothing interesting. What we've been doing is converting... Uh, provinces with beer into provinces with books. Books are worth a lot more than beer. Uh, this used to be worth like three ducats. It's down to one and a half. It's dropped by a lot. Uh, probably because we're suddenly producing more. We have one, two, three provinces with books. And we're currently working on Lanschut as the next province. Uh, can we afford it? Yeah. There you go. And then Leipzig will be the last province. We're going to have five provinces with books. And that's it. And then we're going to get our university. Man, it takes a long-ass time to sail to the New World. Oh, Byzantium's independent. He doesn't have any cores anywhere, though. Well, a couple. Not many. But yeah, you haven't really missed much. Finishing a whole bunch of colonies at the same time. And that means we should rip this guy out as soon as he arrives. So that we can um, keep colonizing up here. Rebels to kill. All right. God, 5-3. That's the best we can do. 
Uh, religious map mode. Yeah, let's take a look and see how that's going. We are the dark purple, or the, the royal blue, whatever you want to call it. We are the purple, and we're doing rather well on conversions. There's still a long way to go. We have this massive scroll bar of places to convert. Uh, next up on the annexation list is going to be Holstein, because he has no more claims or cores that we can that we can get for him. Is this an old version of EEF? No, this is whatever's up to date. Yeah, so we can annex him. He has no more claims or cores. Uh, and we are ready to annex Dauphine, so we should get relations up with Dauphine. Uh, yeah, come on back from Milan. Go to Dauphine. There we go. And I do want to go to war with Aragon at some point to steal his his vassal. He has Provence as a vassal, and Provence has cores all over France down here. So I want to get that vassal away from Aragon. It's going to take some doing, though. Ah, we keep getting religious upheaval, but it's not that bad. Straubing. Where the fuck is Straubing? Uh, right there. And our colonist has arrived, so let's yank him out. Actually, I should probably put some troops down there before I yank him out. I mean, it's only 500 natives. But, better than losing the colony, because it takes too long for colonists to get there. Alright, the ship's arrived. End of the month. There we go. Now that we border Frisia, we have CBs on him. Hooray. Go there. Are we in strubbing yet? Not yet. Come on, hurry up. There you go. Kill them all. Die, motherfuckers. Die, motherfuckers. Kill. Die, motherfuckers. Die, motherfuckers. Kill. How close are we on Hoshtin? I did spend some money and military points to make the annexation of him faster. But it's only stage four, so it's going to be a while. We're sitting, I think, at 10 out of 13. Yeah, we're at 10 out of 13 relations right now. So we could get some more vassals if we wanted. It's probably a smart move. Who the hell would I want? I think I want Munster. Yeah, because we can feed Munster some cores. But he won't go peacefully. I'd have to do it through war. Eh, Nyatra, Gotland, Hungary, Scotland, Prussia, Normandy, Haino, and Padua. Oh, right, Haino. I, I, need, to, I need to go beat up Haino because Haino uh, is preventing my vassal Burgundy from unseaging his provinces here. He's okay down here, and he's okay right here in the middle, but he has no access up here to the north part of his nation, so he can't actually get rid of his vassal, or can't get rid of the uh, rebels. Hmm. And these Slovene nationalists. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Barbary pirates attack Istria. Uh, build advanced defenses. What'll that do? Trade efficiency goes down for a little while. Lose 20 ducats. Local tax goes down for a while. Local revolt risk goes down. Sure, whatever. It's cheap. I'll do it. Protest against the pirate raids. Nah, I don't care. Cartographer arrives. Okay, we converted Saxony. Good. Keep on converting. And no, no, not fine arts. No, no, no. I need to hold off. We're saving up admin points so we can get an extra colonist down here. We finished our exploration idea group, but we need 300 admin research points to uh, click this button. Oh, right. I wanted to kick out one of these. Which one did I not want? Yeah, we'll get rid of military prowess. Yeah. Get rid of military prowess. And there's another colonial one I can get. Where is it? Um, hmm, you can only have 10 policies at once. I kind of forget what I wanted. Oh, I wanted this one. Right. I, I, don't ha I haven't finished Mercantile Ideas yet, so I can't get it yet. Shit. I forgot. I'm stupid. Hmm. How close are we to finishing Mercantile? We need two more. Uh, yep. Focus it. Let's finish it up. Uh, 
boats. Oh my god, these boats take forever to get over there. Sued to roll. Alright, sued to roll. Kill the rebels. Marriage from Poland. Nope. Oh, I can spawn them on this guy. <laughs> oh, he didn't fight them. Milan. Oh, I thought Milan would fight them. Now I have to attack into the mountains. God damn it, Milan. Oh, he might have been in Innsbruck. Yeah, the actual physical... Like, look at this. It looks like we're right on the border. So he might have actually been in Innsbruck and not in Sudtirol. Damn it. The visual representation of where your army is is not very good. Turkey's back at war with the Knights. Yep. The Knights Turkish Imperial War. Yep. France still has no air. Ooh, Scotland has no air. Union? No. Oh, he can't get it. Wait, why can't he get a Union? We have the same dynasty, but it says there won't be a Union. It says there's just going to be the same dynasty again. Why? If you're at peace, then it should be a union. Eh, I don't know. He's only 16. He'll probably have a baby anyway. Weird, though. Come on, Bodie Boats. France joined Venice in a war against Turkey. <laughs> Oh, free stability. I already have stability, so... no. I already have tons of stability. And oh my god, this religious minority bug. Oh right, and there was another bug that you guys didn't see. Uh, between episodes, I had to turn off one of my message settings because it kept popping up. Three pop-ups a day saying the Iroquois has reformed their government. Three pop-ups a day. And the only thing I could do to make it stop, I mean, it just kept happening. Uh, was to turn off the message entirely, which really sucks because I like to know when natives do that, when they change their government to a modern government. But now I'm never going to know. I will never be the wiser. General, please. Come on. Okay, max relations with Castile. Good times. Okay, so we're going to leave 90,000 troops at home. We're going to take about 45,000, 50,000 to the New World. We'll need something decent because these natives, they're not... They're pretty good on tech, right? They won't have the best units. They don't get as many pips as we do. But they're pretty good on tech. My vassal should take care of that army, I think. No? Burgundy wants to play Jeu de Palm. Yeah, let's play some Jeu de Palm, Burgundy. Between episodes, we played some Jeu de Palm with Savoy, and he cheated. Savoy's a fucking cheater. Did you know that Savoy's a fucking cheater? Because he is. He totally is. Oh, Lorraine is friendly. So we could vassalize him, which I guess is not the end of the world, but it's such a small nation, I would hesitate to uh, do that. Doesn't seem like the best exchange. All right, let's go play some Jitter Palm in Burgundy. Oh, they moved. What the fuck? They stopped sieging Liege. As soon as I stopped funding these rebels, they moved out of Liege and into Burgundy. What the fuck? That's so stupid. Oh, and I can't support them anymore. What the hell? I was supporting them just two seconds ago, and now I can't fund them. Fuck hell, man. I was literally just funding that guy, and now I can't.
Ooh, Cologne's friendly. Interesting. Oh, right, he's the same religion now. Well, we can vassalize Utrecht. That's a start. Brabant does not want to be vassalized, although... If he wasn't outraged, he would vassalize to me. Ooh. Well, we should work on getting him not outraged. We could make Utrecht an elector. Would that do us any good? Not really, because Cologne would just vote for him. Cologne would not take an electorate. Oh, he already is an elector. Right. Things have sort of calmed down. We still have this stupid coalition, but things are calming down. Alright, we're there. We made it. Okay, good. Uh, do I want to leave 15 guys there? No. We'll leave half of them there. We'll leave seven guys there. And the rest of us, come on up to Santee, and let's start this war. These four natives, Ho-Chunk, Iroquois, Cherokee, and Muskie, they're all allies. Cherokee, Iroquois, and Ho-Chunk. Yep. So we're going to annex all four of them. Well, maybe not Ho-Chunk. Let me check the colonial regions. Oh, the Iroquois are half in Canada. Hmm, maybe we'll only half annex the Iroquois. Who knows? Alright, where's my generals? Give me the best. Johan. You're gonna fight the Iroquois. some sugar. Okie dokie. And now that they're there, I can rip them out, the colonist, and we can go colonize somewhere else, like uh, Panama. Oh shit, someone's there. York is there. Recall! Damn it, York. Oh, I don't have the range? It's too far. Oh shit. Really? I can go here, but not Choco. Hmm. Or do we want to go to South Africa? No, I think I want to stick to the Americas for now. Maybe Tamaulipas? What colonial region is that? Mexico. Yeah, okay. We'll do we'll do both. No, we'll do just we'll just do Tamaulipas. Okay. Pomlico is going to finish next month. There we go. And Olmerica looks nice. Look at that. And give me... You. No, I need you. Give me... No, I'll, I'll take you. We'll, we'll, we'll go back later. All right, Colonial Conquest. Show superiority. Only 50% aggressive expansion to just full annex them. Lovely. Welcome to war. Slow down time. Takes 100 days to come back from Muskegee. Ho-Chunk is in. Oh, the Iroquois didn't join? Oh, Iroquois and Cherokee did not join. Very interesting and unexpected. All right, so group up, and let's section out the army that I want. Eight, two, well, three, whatever. All right, there we go. Where's my general? Uh, you. 
Come on down. I don't even want to fight the Ho-Chunk, but whatever. All right, so let's go in. I'll send the nine to the capital and the rest of us just go to Muskegee. So we'll do a separate war on the Iroquois, who's allied to the Cherokee. Oh, and the Iroquois just joined. Okay. Uh, apparently, the Iroquois' units are invisible. Look at that. They're invisible. Interesting. Yeah, look at the Cherokee. I can't... Their units are invisible. What the... Oh, no, there you go. I can see the Muskegee units. How weird. What's up, bro? I'm sorry that I break your concentration. Good times. So I guess we declare a separate war? Oh, but he's allied to the Apache. Eh, it shouldn't matter. The Apache. Who knows where the Apache are? Oh, Cherokee joined. Okay, finally, they're all in. Hopefully, America will do some work. There we go. Brabant is now friendly, so we can peacefully vassalize Brabant. I love it. Uh, do I really want to ally him? Yeah, I might as well. So let's go support rebels in Burgundy again. And this time... Oh, it's right, we can't. Why do I keep thinking I can do that? I can't do that. Uh, I should be able to walk over there, though. Let's get access through Cologne. Yeah, he won't vassalize because he's an elector. Give me access. There we go. Oh, right, we're at war. When the Emperor is at war, you can walk through all HRE lands, all HRE lands anyway. Siege him up. And we'll just core all this stuff. We have tons of admin points. The sad part is we don't have tons and tons of Diplo, and annexing these guys costs 50 Diplo per province, or at least it does in vanilla. It may not cost that much here, but in vanilla it's 50 Diplo per province. It's very expensive. Uh, yeah. Sup, Cherokee? Hope you enjoy our time together today. Okay, we killed Burgundy's rebels. Get the fuck out. Castile needs help against Navarra? Sure. Portugal. Oh, Portugal's the war leader. All right, we're at war with Portugal then. Okay. I guess we could steal Mahican if we wanted. And we might as well. There's no reason not to. Uh, the Pope, Lucca, Sardinia, Corsica. Oh shit, Milan! Damn it, Castile, I'm at war with Milan, you son of a bitch. Why did you bring me into war with Milan? That's not cool. He's my long term ally. And Portugal won't peace out because Portugal, why would he ever peace out? Fuck me.
All right, Brabant's ready to be vassalized. I just got to get him. He needs to peace out. He doesn't need that war. I'll take two-thirds of his trade power, though. Hey, we converted Burn. Nice. Still got a long way to go, but looking good on the conversion. Hmm. There we go. Colonial 3. We now have an extra colonist. So good. So fucking good. Goods produced nationally. Domestic trade power. I do want to get these, but I need to keep my Diplo points available for the peace deals. Oh, one of our leaders died. Shit. And the religious minority bug is still going. Every time you convert a province, this pop-up just spams you with every province that you have previously converted. Marriage with Nyatra. Make clone vote for us. Achieve us unity. That's, none of that's ever going to happen. God damn it, Portugal. God damn it, Portugal. Oh, at least Milan's still friendly. He needs to stay friendly. And Brabant... Brabant, you need to be vassalized, dude. Okay, the boats arrived in Cuba. Let's take uh, these four guys. Actually, just leave one soldier. Extra colonist. Where should we go? Ah, uh, it's a damn good question. I think I want to go here. And I think that's where I'll take the dudes. So York is doing Panama, but we can just beat him up and take it, which I think we will do. Ho-Chunk has arrived. Hello, Ho-Chunk. He's got a good general. He's got two good generals. He has a 0-4 and a 0-5. What kind of bullshit is it that the AI can get out of all the choices, he can get a 0, two, zero 4 and a zero 5 at the same time. That's bullshit. Oh, here comes Portugal, being a douche nozzle. You need to force march, dude. Get over there now. Okay, we're over there. Let's drop off some soldiers. Oh, he changed his mind. Okay. Cologne wants an alliance. Dude, if you will peacefully vassalize, I will happily take an alliance. But I get the feeling you won't peacefully vassalize because it says you won't peacefully vassalize because you're an elector. Well, what's the positive over here? The positive is 68. Base tax, military power, friendly, and reputation. I think we can overcome that elector thing. I think we can make it happen. All right, I'll take it. We'll make it happen. Oh, 
Your air truly shines with negotiation. Diplomatic skill plus one. What is our air? Our air already has diplomacy six, so that doesn't do any good. Thanks, though. Maybe he'll be diplomacy seven. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for the annexation of Muskegee, Cherokee, and Iroquois, the uh, <laughs> wonderful expansion of Ulmerica, and maybe even some territory stealing from Portugal, but uh, that remains to be seen. I really didn't want this war with Milan. He we didn't deserve this war with Milan, but we have it anyway. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.